Hey, what's up guys? Matt Schiffler here from American Made Exotics. Just want to do a quick update video. We had a couple clutches today and uh, there's a couple of them in there I think are pretty cool. Uh, one really particularly I'm pretty excited for. Um, I'll go ahead and read them off here. We have a chocolate Mojave that's double head hypo pied that I bred to a hypo vanilla 100% double head pied desert ghost. Um, I had a hypo uh, pied male uh, with vanilla in it but I ended up deciding to use this boy because he just didn't have that many females this year. Uh, I'm still raising the triple heads up. I had one triple head girl that was up to size. So I figured I'd go ahead and use him and any of the vanilla chocolate combo uh, hypopods I make, they'll be 50% Passat Desert Ghost and I don't mind keeping some of those girls. So uh, I figured it was a good use of him, better that than just letting them breed to one girl and not really using them this year. Um, and then I also got this one I'm excited for. It is a Hypo Chocolate Mojave that I bred to a Tri-Stripe Hypo. So I have a handful of girls that are visual Tri-Stripes, 100% head Hypo raising up. And they should breed this coming winter. So hopefully I hit a Chocolate Mojave Hypo, 100% head Tri-Stripe. And I can breed that back to the visual Tri-Stripe head Hypo girls. And eventually make a Chocolate Mojave Tri-Stripe Hypo. And I think that's going to be pretty cool. I love the way Chocolate interacts with the Hypo. And I love the way Tri-Stripe interacts with the Hypo. So really looking forward to seeing both of those together. Uh, it looks like the Blue Eye Lucy stuff goes well with the Tri-Stripes too. So that Mojave is probably going to complement it pretty nicely. And look forward to seeing that. And then let's see. The last one I got. It is an Ultra Mode that I bred to a Clown Stranger Inchy Lesser. And I'm excited for that one too because we have a lot of high double head ultra male clown and ultra male clown uh, girls raising up and if I get the stranger into that I'll be really happy so all I need is a, a good solid male or a couple solid girls to raise up and I've got other animals that'll complement it well and I can plug and play that stranger right into my ultra male clown stuff um, so that's pretty cool too uh, I guess let's get in here and see what these girls gave us all right so this girl right here is a chocolate Mojave 100% double head hypo pied that we bred to a vanilla hypo double head desert ghost pied. So that could be pretty cool. Let's see what she gave us here. If it's a good size clutch. I'll snap a photo for the records here. All right. Now I'm going to peel her off. Feel her belly, nothing stuck. I'm going to set her to the side to wash her up. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight eggs. So let's see if these things are all good. All right, go ahead and count them for me, Emma. I see some veins. That's good. And some more. Mm-hmm. More veins, some more veins, some more veins, some more, some more, and some more. So they're all good? Yep. So eight good eggs, I'll take that. I've always been partial to that chocolate stuff, especially mixed with the hypo. So really excited to get chocolate into my, uh, my hypo desert ghost pied stuff. Uh, definitely looking forward to keeping some of them girls and sitting them to the side. Uh, even with the Desert Ghost being a pos head, just me getting the chocolate into the Hypo Pie, um, I'll be able to long term put it into my, my Desert Ghost stuff for that triple project. So that's a good one. So I always like seeing chocolate stuff. So let's see what else this other one gave us. All right, so another chocolate clutch for the day. Uh, this one we have a chocolate Mojave Hypo that was bred to a tri-stripe hypo. And that is one that I'm very excited for and I've really looked forward to this one. Um, I wanted to get the chocolate hypo het tri-stripe particularly um, for those tri-stripe het hypo girls that I have. So I'm glad uh, glad we got some eggs from her. Hopefully they're all good, good size clutch. Let me get this photo for the Rectors and we'll pull her off and see what we got. All right. Well, she is holding on to him. Let me check her belly. Nothing stuck in there. 
I'm gonna set her off to get washed. Now let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six eggs, hopefully all good. All right, let's get these things candled. Good. I see some veins. All right. Some more veins. All right. Some more in this one. Okay. And in this one. Okay. And in this one. This one, some veins. And some more veins in this one. All right, one. they're all good. Yep. So six eggs, I'm good with that. Hopefully I get the male that I need. I won't complain to see a female either. But it's one of those things that you, you look forward to for years. And you have this like uh, mental goal that's years out that you start working towards. So it's cool to see another piece of the puzzle um, come together. Hopefully the odds are with me and I, I see the animal that I need. I've definitely missed before. So I don't like counting my chickens before they hatch. But out of six, hopefully I got at least one boy in there I can use to get to where I'm trying to go. And that's the Chocolate Mojave Hyper Tri-Stripe. All right, so let's see what she gave us here. Nothing stuck in her. I see a small clutch, but all I need is one. We got one, two, three, four, five eggs. So let's candle them and see if they're all good. All right, candle them for me, Emma. Okay. I see some veins. All right. Some more veins. Some more. Some more and some more. All right, all five are good. Yep. Cool. So a small clutch, but I'll take it. Five eggs is better than no eggs. And like I said, I, I just need the one animal really uh, to try to get the stranger into my ultra my clown stuff. So hopefully we see it in there and the odds are with us on it at least. But I won't complain to see a male or a female in a perfect world. But cool, let's get this one put up. And hopefully we got some stuff hatching, but it should be any day now. All right, so we got one more in here. And it's starting to fill up now. We haven't had anything come out yet. But we got half of this wall done. And we got most of this wall. So let's see here, these first ones, they should be pipping any day now. Nothing here. That's pastel clown to a jaguar butter pastel head clown. And second clutch. No, nothing pipping there. Any day though, we're going to a show this weekend. That's going to be my luck. They're going to start pipping while I'm gone. And uh, Allison will send me the picture of them hatching. But hopefully there's something cool in there. I'll be sure to update you when they do. Uh, appreciate y'all watching. And until the next one.